plane ride home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially seeing Coach O dance. What's that? Especially seeing Coach O dance. Yeah. How many chairs did you guys break in the locker room? Huh? How many chairs did you guys break in the locker room? Uh, it was it was a lot. <laughs> we had we had a great time in the locker room. It was crazy. <laughs> Well, you know, um, they they gave us a lot of confidence. You know, um, we was ready for the challenge. Um, it's over now, but and now we just have to start getting ready for uh, Louisiana Tech. You know, they they're a good team. Um, they had a bye weekend and everything, so um, you know they gonna come uh, with everything. So we have to be ready. How do you describe that emotional high after you guys see that kick go through the upright? I mean, I knew he was gonna make it. Uh, I saw I saw him nail that kick so many times in practice. Um, I wasn't even nervous about it, so I, I, I had so much faith in them and stuff like that. But you know, it was it was crazy. You know, that atmosphere was crazy. Um, you know, we we're not gonna ever forget that. You know, uh, that was that was an unbelievable game, and uh, we all just had a good time with each other. How crazy is it to suck the life out of a crowd? And just all you hear is you guys going nuts, and that place hundreds yeah. of people is dead silent. It's 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 nice. I mean, it's a, it's a feeling you can't even, you can't even describe. You know, you just going out there. I'm balling with your brothers, you having a good time, and uh, you going out there and just get and getting the win, you know, for the state, for Coach O, and you know, for playing, just playing for each other uh, out there. What uh, what does it mean for you to go in? I mean, you're proving something every week. Mm -hmm. you get seven yards, you know, in a, in a defense that kind of struggle like that. Yeah, uh, you know, their defense is really good. Uh, their front four was, uh, it, you know, that was one of the best in the SEC. So. Uh, it was an honor just going against them. You know, uh, I give I give all my credit to my offensive line, uh, my coaches, and my teammates. And uh, you know, it's just gonna get bigger and better from here. And uh, I'm just glad to play play football with these guys each and every day, and uh, just going out and compete with them each and every week a weekend. How would you describe uh, Joe's intangibles getting that huddle in a pressure packed situation, mm -hmm. leading you on two scoring drives in the, the final quarter? You know, Joe's a leader. You know, I I I saw as soon as he stepped in the huddle. Um, I saw him as soon as he came, as soon as he came, you know, on campus, you know, he was gonna be a leader and everything, and um, he was doing a really good job with that. And I'm proud of him. Uh, we just gotta keep moving on, and I know he, I know he's gonna keep moving on, keep getting better each and every day. And uh, you know, I'm glad he's my quarterback, and um, I'd do anything for him. Some people would say no turnovers in college has been fortunate, but it's really something you guys emphasize. Yeah, definitely. You know, we just take a full advantage of that. Um, you know, that's something the coaches stretch, uh, stress on us about. And um, we just doing everything the coaches said, and you know, it's turned out good for us. You know, um, we all communicating with each other. We actually having fun with each other. Um, you know, we just going out there and just playing our game. You know, uh, that's really about it. You've had a lot of early success. You know, with the top ten wins. Mm -hmm. um, but Coach O says that having that ranking, you know, top ten, it doesn't win games for you. Yeah. What's kind of the team's mentality to kind of stay humble? Um, you know. You know, the rankings and stuff, they don't mean anything. Uh, I remember my freshman year, uh, we was going in and play Alabama. I think we was ranked number two. And uh, I, after that, we, we had lost the game. We went on a three-game a three game losing streak. And uh, that just shows me, you know, uh, that the rankings don't mean anything. You know, we just we have to come out each and every week and take care of little things and uh, just, you know, just keep communicating with each other and having fun and uh, just balling with each other. Joe said after the game, there's momentum. All games going up and down and mm -hmm. up and down, back and forth. Was that 71 yard touchdown? Was that the, the one that, that finally kind of you felt like, okay, we can do this? Uh, I always knew we can do it. You know, I always had confidence uh, in, in our offense and things like that. Um, just the biggest thing, we just had to keep keep the energy going. Um, I feel like uh, we was kind of flat. We started off high, but we, uh, we, uh, we our energy came down, and uh, I was just trying to get everybody up. Uh, Joe was doing the same thing, and uh, I knew something was going to happen. You know, somebody was going to spark it. And uh, we were just waiting for it, and uh, it happened, and everything, and um, and everything took care of itself. Last one. How do you like this offense you're playing in right now? You're getting the mm -hmm. shotgun, you're, you're sometimes throwing on third and short. Mm -hmm. You're doing some things that you haven't done in the past, right? Yeah, um, I, I like this offense. I like I love what Coach E doing. You know, uh, it, it fit everybody's skill set, uh, especially mine and everything. Uh, we did a lot of this stuff in high school, and uh, I was more comfortable with it. And uh, I think everybody's just getting along. We communicating well, and it's fitting everybody's skill set. And now, you know, 
you can see it, it uh, it's paying off for us and uh, you know the future is bright for us. We just have to keep uh, keep working and keep bringing it each and every day. Thank y'all.